Hello everyone, Chris here. Quick update on uh, COVID-19 in Alaska, uh, coronavirus. Uh, things are happening pretty quickly. I've got a kid who's in the, uh, the Matsu School District here, so uh, I'm keenly uh, interested in what's happening with her schedule. So the governor put out uh, an emergency uh, mandate closing all Alaska school districts until March 30th. So as it, as it turns out, uh, school districts will be closed. Students will not be attending school uh, through March 30th. It's unclear how staff uh, how staff will be ordered back to work or if there'll be some work from home policies or how that will play out. Uh, in addition, the state of Alaska has also put a suspended visitation on um, facilities that are Department of Correction facilities, uh, juvenile youth facilities, uh, the Alaska Youth Military Academy, and also the Alaska Psychiatric Institute. And then there's limited suspe suspension for visitation to the Pioneer Homes, which are state-run facilities. So uh, more to come at this point. I believe there still is only one confirmed case um, of COVID-19 they've diagnosed within Alaska. It is Sunday, March 15th, uh, coming into the 5 o'clock hour. So I suspect uh, this week will be a busy week. But I wanted to give a quick update in case you were looking for the latest on what's happening in Alaska. If you have any uh, comments or new news items yourself, love to see it down in the comments section. Uh, take care. Be safe. Well, I would say uh, for, for practical purposes, if uh, you know, hopefully your organization has some kind of uh, response plan uh, in order. Uh, you know, and everybody has a, a variety of different types of business operations that you got to run throughout the state but make sure that you're giving giving each other distance you know they call it, talk about that social uh, social distancing leave spaces between each other if you are sick or you have been around somebody that's sick as much as you can make sure that you are staying at home uh, make sure that you wash your hands as often as you can without it becoming an irritant to you uh, and be aware right and I'd say you know, don't worry about the toilet paper so much. Uh, I think that'll probably be your least of your worries. Um, and I may have a, another video on creative ways to, to work around a toilet paper shortage, which can become a crisis all of its own. But I, I think I have some solutions there that aren't actually that innovative, and they'll be pretty obvious once, once you think about it. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. Take care, be safe, uh, look out for one another. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and check back soon for another update. Take care. We'll see you later.